Value addition is defined as the increase in value of raw material after it becomes a finished product. It represents the effect of manufacturing in terms of money. For a group to know whether they have added value, subtract the following costs from the value of the manufactured products. These include raw materials, transport, ingredients, containers, fuel, and labor. There are several methods of adding value to milk. Mr. Kibiego from the Smallholder Dairy Commercialization Project explains. It's a program we are encouraging small-scale milk, milk bars and also cooperative societies to go into value addition. Value addition involves processing raw milk either into pasteurized milk or fermented milk products such as yogurt and mala which has a longer shelf life and also it brings in more income compared to raw milk. That way, smallholder dairy farmers, small-sized milk traders, and other players in the dairy industry will be able to get more income. Therefore, they'll reduce their, their poverty levels and we will receive higher economic growth as a country. The project works with the Dairy Training Institute, who are credited with the training of dairy personnel. An expert takes us through the steps. For anybody that is dealing with processing of milk, there are certain conditions that have to be observed. The first one is that you should be medically fit. That means you should have gone for medical inspection and certified as healthy. The second thing is the way you are dressed up. You should be appropriately dressed. Your head should be completely covered, that is the hair. The hair should be completely covered. These ones are meant to protect you from the milk so that there is no contamination from your body that goes into the milk. The nails should be cut short, trimmed, and they should always be kept clean. You should not wear any nail polish or cutex. Okay, so when you wash your hands either after visiting the toilet or when coming into the processing area, you first rinse your hands or wipe your hands. Then you apply soap or detergent. You should not have, you should not be corrosive and should not have any harmful effect on your hands and should also not be smelly. Then you wash, you remember to wash under the nails. Thoroughly, possibly up to your elbows, then rinse. You rinse thoroughly in warm water. Tap water is the best. And then you dry using a disposable paper towel. Washing should be done always before and after handling the products.
But your addition of milk starts from the process of pasteurization. That means the milk will be heated to a certain temperature and time combination and therefore it becomes safe for consumption. On top of that, the milk is packaged so that it will reach the consumer in good condition and the packaging material should be strong enough to carry the milk and should be also be attractive enough to advertise the product inside. Apart from fresh milk, we also train on manufacture of fermented products, among them yogurt and mazibarara, which is called cultured milk. To start with, we are going to demonstrate on pasteurized milk. This is where we are going to heat milk to a temperature of 75 degrees centigrade, hold it for about 15 seconds and then cool the milk. That milk will be safe for consumption. So here we have our milk which has already been tested and the quality has been guaranteed as good. We have put it in a water bath and milk is not supposed to be heated directly. The reason is that when you heat milk directly, you destroy a lot of nutrients. When you are heating your milk, certain aspects of hygiene have to be observed. Whatever goes into the milk has to come from another water which has been kept hot so that the milk is not contaminated or recontaminated during the processing. So here we have our stara, which is a very ordinary tool at home. Before you get the temperature, you have to stir the milk so that it becomes uniform. Once you stir your milk, you get your thermometer, which is also in hot water so that it does not contaminate the milk. And then you check the temperature of your milk. So after some time, the milk temperature will have gone up. And by this time, our milk temperature has gone to 75 degrees centigrade. So once it has reached 75 degrees centigrade, you hold your milk at that temperature for about 15 seconds. The milk should be covered to prevent any contaminants coming from above and also prevent formation of skin on the surface of the milk. If you note here, I have two containers because I want to make two products at the same time. For this one container, I want to make yogurt, and the other one, I want to make cultured milk that is Maziwara. So it will be more economical when you have a bigger water bath for heating the two milk together. When you're making yogurt, normally we recommend that you put sugar when the milk is on the fire so that also the sugar gets pasteurized. The amount of sugar that you add is 6% of the amount of milk you have. So we are going to put our sugar Here. Then before you put in the sugar into the milk, you first get the temperature of the milk. You check whether it is around 60 degrees centigrade because that's the right temperature where the sugar dissolves quite fast. Then you add your sugar. And then you stir. Once you are sure that the sugar has completely dissolved, then you cover your milk. You can give it about five minutes. And then after that, you open and check. You start again 
and check whether the temperature has reached 8. For yogurt making, the temperatures have been to go up to 8 to 25 degrees centigrade and then you hold your milk at that temperature for 30 minutes. These temperatures ensure that there is complete destruction of microorganisms which have got into the milk. Now half an hour is over and the milk is ready for cooling to a temperature of between 40 and 45 degrees for yogurt and below 30 degrees centigrade for cultured milk, that is maziwara. So we are going to remove the milk outside, get some cold water and then immerse the milk into the cold water so that the temperatures goes down. Now, so that cooling becomes fast, it is good that we stir our milk continuously. And therefore we stop further cooling. A starter culture is a useful bacteria that helps in fermentation of the milk. We are going to add directly into the milk and the amount that we are going to use will be equivalent to the amount of milk that we have. Measure a little amount of starter culture, put into the milk and then stir for about 3 minutes. Once you stir your milk for the 3 minutes, you are sure that your starter culture is evenly distributed throughout the milk and now your milk is ready for incubation for at least 3 to 4 hours. Uh, incubation is usually at 40 to 45 degrees centigrade for 3 hours and then you put the milk under refrigeration for at least 12 hours. Alternatively, you can put your milk at incubation and then you just leave it. You let it cool naturally overnight. By the following morning it will have set and cooled down. And then it will be ready for addition of flavoring and coloring. For cultured milk, that is maziwarara, the amount of starter culture you use about a quarter teaspoonful. The stirring will also be about three minutes. <laughs> 